unilaterally lifting the arms embargo uh, in Bosnia is certainly the way to drive the UN out of Bosnia and to drive the U.S. into Bosnia. And we've said that repeatedly, and those who advocate that measure owe it to the American people to explain to them uh, how the United States would become more deeply involved in the conflict in Bosnia as a result of the measure that they sponsor. Good afternoon. Welcome to the State Department briefing. I'd like to start the briefing today by introducing to you a special guest of mine. Ms. We strongly believe that UNPROFOR's mission should continue. The United Nations has made a significant contribution to the welfare of the Bosnian people, and the withdrawal of the United Nations forces, especially from its humanitarian mission, would lead, we think, to an even greater humanitarian disaster in the wake of the fall of Srebrenica and assuredly in the battles that are yet to come because of this brutal Bosnian Serb offensive. Garaged as being targeted. Um, in the Nuremberg trials, we also had people who had condoned or who had promoted or who had run cover. El Consejo de Seguridad comenzará. There being no objection, it is so decided. <laughs> the presidency of the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina has decided today not to talk special in way of Secretary General uh, Mr. Stoltenberg. The same applies from now on to Special Envoy of Secretary General for former Yugoslavia, Mr. Yasushi Akashi. Well, we were told at the briefing uh -huh. by the UN High Commission for uh -huh. Refugees uh -huh. official uh -huh. 